everybody, Anne here, just sitting here on my porch having coffee again with all of you. And it's a beautiful sunny day. It's just beating down on me right now. I got my new little Lucy light charging up to see how that works. Well, actually, I used it yesterday, and it does charge the phone. It does a really good job of charging the phone, and the light is really bright. Um, it wasn't fully charged yesterday, so I'm going to charge it up today and see how long it runs on one charge. And, well, today I'm going to show you some more stuff that my parents brought down for the tiny house. I'm going to plant something um, in one of the things they gave me and trim some, uh, trim some herbs. Herbs? How do you say that? I don't know. I can't decide. Uh, but, oh yeah, I want to show you this hat. I bought this at a place called Bargain Hunt in Jackson. And my mom actually found it, and she brought it to me. And uh, it was $1.75. It was like 50% off of that, so a few pennies. And I bought a few more things there that were pretty darn cool. So um, Bargain Hunt is my new favorite place. So, well, I'm going to finish my coffee, have a little bit of leftover bread pudding for breakfast, and get this day started. It is here, guys. They cleaned it all up. They even cleaned the tires up. And it looks great on the inside. It looks great on the outside. Um, you know what? They give me tags? Huh, I don't know. Well, I've got a little piece of paper. Doesn't this look awesome? They cleaned out the, the truck bed, too. I like the size of this truck bed. Not too big, not too small. And uh, they've already signed up for my permanent plates, and they're going to mail them to me. Oh my goodness, I'm going to take this baby for a drive. Oh, look at the poor van over there. She won't even start. I feel so bad for her. All right, so I'm going to go get my purse and take it for a little spin. And I tell you what, guys, this truck is so smooth and it's so quiet. I can't hear anything, basically. I just can't hear anything. I'm so used to driving in the van with all the shakes and rattles and whatnot. This is so quiet and it's like riding on air. It's so smooth. Oh my goodness. And well, I know I need new tires. Um, the front two tires are uh, going to need replaced before the back two tires, but more than likely I'll just get four, you know, all at once. Um, I'm going to get that eventually, but I've got time. I've got enough time. So they detailed it really nicely and it smells good in here. And I can tell it was a non-smoker because I don't smell any cigarette smoke. And it's just, it steers well, it brakes well. Oh, this is just, I'm elated, you guys. I'm so happy. Remember this? This is that big red pepper, the sweet red pepper that was growing out in the bucket. And it got a little, some kind of bug hole in it, so I decided to pick it. It was in a weird spot anyhow. So I'm going to cut this open and see if it's still okay, the rest of it, and maybe put it in tonight's dinner. I decided to get today started by trimming some of these lovely herbs, so let's do it. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this thing. Isn't that cute? It's a little bicycle planter. I'm going to put it in front of the tiny house and plant some something in them. Don't know what. Let the pruning slash harvesting begin.
show you some of the lovely things my parents brought down. They brought this little tea table and it's got little leaves on it that you can fold out. And she also brought me this cool little stool that you can sit on. And so you, you can pull it around. It's got wheels and it's got a little tray that pulls out and storage shelf underneath. So that's pretty cool. Just look at this. Isn't that awesome? You can see the little wheels down there a little bit. Oh, I'm getting rid of that. Don't worry. And she brought me some uh, placemats and these cute salt and pepper shakers. And those plates were from the Dollar Tree. And they look perfect, just stacked right there. And that uh, beer bottle, my mom and dad make beer. And it's delicious. And she brought some little artificial flowers and whatnot, so I put them in that to make a little vase out of it and just looks really really pretty and here is the wicker shelf now it, it, it's a mess over there I know it is but um, she gave me those little trays and that little um, this little thing with the bluebird on it it lights up and she painted it herself and it looks so pretty at nighttime oh and that little flute they got for me a while ago because I used to play the flute and so that is gonna be awesome I can't wait to get it all stocked up yeah, I'm going to move that somewhere. I don't know where. We're going to move it somewhere, though. Probably get rid of that blue thing. Oh, and um, she painted that painting, and I'm going to hang that up somewhere. That mirror belonged to her mom, so now it's it's mine. And it looks pretty with those candles up lit up. And I brought the wood stove inside just to see what it's going to be like, how it's going to fit. I'm not going to light it up, of course, and see that's how high the, the stove pipe goes. And um, I'm going to probably, like in that area, put a hole through the wall, get an elbow pipe and a couple more pipe extensions and bring it up over the roof. But it fits perfectly. I'm going to have to move that uh, rug back, definitely. And more paintings. My mom did that one, my dad did that one, and my mom did that one. There it is. Isn't that awesome? I went ahead and put some dirt in it and I got those little thingies all uh, wet. And I transplanted a bunch of lemon balm because I have a whole bunch that's coming up. And I went ahead and, you know, took a little bit of lettuce out there. I don't know if it'll work, but I wanted to get in something, you know. And I also planted, what did I plant around that? Did I plant chives or dill? Gosh, I can't remember. Haha, <laughs> sucks getting old. But look at that, isn't that pretty? That is gonna look so cool. I thought about flowers, but you know what? I wanna just grow stuff I can eat, and I'm not really into eating flowers, so yeah, I think it looks great. I just got a note in my mailbox stating that there was a delivery attempt, and I don't know, I was home, but it was too large for the mailbox, I guess. I don't understand why they didn't just drop it off at the tiny house. I was there. So I'm on my way to the post office right now to see what's going on. They said that the post office is closed, but they said that I could go and pick it up. So the lady was really nice. So I don't know. What is it? All right, guys, this is huge. Very, very huge. But this video has gotten long enough, so I'm going to show you what I just brought home in the next video. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.